All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. This the brother, not by Ayasha, the Jim S. Cindy Nabs account. Come on another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with two-thirds have provoked the Lord to jealousy. And why have you provoking the Lord to jealousy? By what? Worshiping these other gods. Giving praise to false names. Like Romans said, you worship the creature more than the creator. See what I'm saying? Because that's why a lot of you people are receiving judgment here in America, even right now to this day. Even as I'm doing this video, somewhere... Here in America, somebody's receiving judgment for what? Provoking the Lord to jealousy. Because you what? You calling on other gods, false gods. You praying to Buddha, to Allah, you know what I'm saying? To Egyptology, to Hotep, or uh, Haran, or or Set, or Isis, Seth, and Horus, or, or whatever you want to call it. The tree god, you know what I'm saying? Roman Catholicism, the Baptist Church, Presbyterian Church, the... Uh, Pentecostal church, praying to Jesus Christ, you're provoking the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, to jealousy. Because Israelites, we are considered a woman to the Lord. We're his bride. So when we go and sit there and give praise to, who, uh, man, I give all the praise to my homeboy Terry for waking me up. You're provoking the Lord to jealousy. Or when you say, oh, it was my alarm clock that woke me up, or I did this, or I did that, or, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, uh, I'm glad my car didn't hit the other car. Ooh, man, you know what I'm saying? Good job, uh, whatever your car is. You give him praise and glory to another deity, to another God, and that what provokes Yahweh by Shimei out of jealousy. Therefore, he has the right to what? Judge you. See what I'm saying? Because matter of fact, uh, I'm going to start with, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 16. It said, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. Just like Israel did in the wilderness. When the Lord led us through the Red Sea and we was in the wilderness for, uh, for uh, 40 days, the first first week, what did we do? We made a golden calf. As soon as, soon as Moses went to go talk to the Lord, he wasn't even gone long. He was only gone for, I like, think, a day or two. And Israel lost hope already and made what? Strange gods. Same way they do here in America, man. You Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you don't know your true power, so you go and give honor and glory to a false god like, like Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? Therefore, you provoke the Lord to jealousy. You know? Because by us giving praise to the other gods, hey, some of us was taught by the commandments of men. We didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? But when you know better, you do better. And a lot of y'all, a lot of you Israelites, you know you Israel. You know the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai. But you refuse to call upon it, so you give them what? Other titles like Most High and Christ Bless or God or, or uh, Ahia. That's not the Lord's name. So in turn, what you're doing, you're provoking the Lord to, to jealousy. See what I'm saying? This is back in Deuteronomy 32 and 16. It said, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With abomination provoked they him to anger. So you're, you're being abominable by calling on these other gods, these false gods and false deities, instead of calling on the name of your by Shem Yahweh your true power. See what I'm saying? So when you look up in the sky and you see a, a so-called UFO, what you going to do? You're going to call it an alien. Because why? You don't know the, the power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Therefore, you don't know that the word, the, the, uh, word of Yahweh by Shem Shai tell you that those are the angels. Huh. That's Satan trying to cause me to yawn. But those are the angels of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Those are the angels of the Lord. But the world teach you that what? Those are aliens. Those are those are monsters up there in those ships. But that's not so. So when you 
see the chariots or the angels of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and then you sit there and tell somebody, no, those are little green men with big heads, you're provoking the Lord to anger. You put, you, you're, you're causing the Lord to be jealous because you're not giving him the proper respect that he's due. You see what I'm saying? It says, uh, verse 17, Deuteronomy 32 and 17. It says, they sacrifice unto devils, not to Yahweh. And that's what you're doing. You're sacrificing unto devils, unto demons. Especially you celebrities. You're sacrificing unto, unto devils, unto deceivers and liars. Which are who? Number one, the Edomites. Which are Satan's children here on this planet. See what I'm saying? So, by you sacrificing the devils, you provoking the Lord to jealousy. Matter of fact, this is Proverbs chapter 6, verse uh, 34. It said, For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare it in the day of vengeance. So, when the Lord judge somebody, whether it be a car crash, or their body catch on fire, or they fall off a building, or they, or they uh, get trapped where they're hanging from a, a, a clothesline or anything, a cord get wrapped around their throat and they choking to death. Hey, that's because you provoke the Lord to jealousy. You Negroes, Latino, and Native American. About what? Praying to Santa Maria or Guadalupe. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> or to Jesus Christ. Or to Buddha or Allah. See what I'm saying? So when your house blow up, that's because you provoke the Lord to jealousy. Why? Because you do, you belong to your house by Shemir Oshai. You see what I'm saying? Back in verse 17, Deuteronomy 32 and 17, it says, They sacrificed unto devils, not unto Yahweh, to, who, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. See, these are new gods. Allah, the, the Kaaba stone, Allah, that's a new god. Buddha, that's a new god. That's a big old beautiful butterfly. See what I'm saying? To, to Amun Ra, that's a new God. This whole Egyptology nonsense, that's a new God. We weren't sacrificing to them gods back in the ancient days. No, we were sacrificing to Yahweh by Shimei We weren't sacrificing to no Ahaya, Shai Ahaya. None of that. We were sacrificing to, to Yahweh by Shimei That's the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. They're Hebrews, right? So they should have Hebrew names. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's who you're supposed to sacrifice to. So when you're in these churches and you offering your body up as a living sacrifice to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you're doing something new, but at the same time, you're provoking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to jealousy. Therefore, hey, like the scriptures say, the wages of sin is death. So therefore, you're subject to what? Being punished, being put to death. Because you provoke Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to what? Jealousy, to anger. Because you're giving praise to another another deity, another God, instead of the true power of heaven and earth. Matter of fact, let me get another precept right quick. Uh, this is, uh, let me see, Romans 1 and let's see. Mm. Let me see. Uh, yep, this is Romans 1 and 25. It says, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie? So when you worshiping these other gods, you changing the truth of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai into a lie. It said, And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever to walk. See what I'm saying? So you worshiping the creature more than the creator. You're not even trying to worship the creator. Your mind is stuck on the creature. See what I'm saying? You're stuck on these celebrities, these entertainers, these athletes. That's who your mind is stuck on. Your mind is not stuck on your Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah. Because if it was, then you'd be doing what your Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah tell you to do. You see? So back in Deuteronomy, 
Well now, I'm gonna go to my other precept. This is Exodus 34 and 14. Let's see here, Exodus chapter 34 and 14 said, For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous power. That don't mean the Lord's name is Jealous. What it's saying that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is a jealous power. See what I'm saying? For the Lord alone, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, does, hey, that's a law. Back in uh, Exodus 34 and 14, it said, For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. So that's a law. It said, Thou shalt not worship no other God. So when you go into your churches or making your own God, you're breaking the laws, taking the commandments of the Heavenly Father. Therefore, you're going to be put to death. See what I'm saying? So you people out there that worship any other gods, you better stop. Because Yahweh Shah is a jealous power. See what I'm saying? The scriptures even tell us, matter of fact, um, let me see. Let's see if I can find it right quick. Bear with me one second. See if I can find this real quick. Well, I can't find it, so I'm going to skip it for now. Yeah, I can't find it, but uh, Scripture tell you that you're not even supposed to make mention of any other God. It should not be mentioned in your mouth, and that's a law. But a lot of y'all, hey, you mention other gods. When you go to these churches and stuff, and you sitting there bowing down and praying to Jesus Christ, you letting that name, you letting another God come out your mouth. Therefore, the Lord is jealous because, like I said earlier, we are a woman to the Lord. We are his bride, so we are not to be calling on these other false gods. See what I'm saying? Because it makes the Lord angry, man. I just like any man in this day and time, man, when you see a woman talking to another man, that makes you angry. You see what I'm saying? That's a godly jealousy. Esau make it seem like when you jealous that you done lost your mind or you going crazy. No, that's in the scriptures. We just read in Proverbs 6 and 34, for jealousy is the rage of a man. And that's how the Lord is unto us, man. We are his, his, his woman. We are his bride. So when we go around and give him praise and honor and homage to another deity, hey, that's going to piss the Lord off. And you're going to get punished for that, man. Uh, yeah, I can't find it, but anyway, yeah, with that, uh, hey, with that, uh, Baba Bar, Shalom.